Have you ever pondered over the grandest moon in our cosmos? Welcome to the realm of Ganymede, an astronomical marvel that proudly wears the crown as the biggest moon circling Jupiter. It's even more sizable than the planet Mercury. Could you ever conceive that Europe and the United States would be joining forces even in the outer expanses of our solar system? Quite spectacular, isn't it? We'll delve into that partnership shortly, but first, let's unearth the captivating universe of Ganymede. Visualize this, a moon so massive that it could overshadow the entirety of some planets. Ganymede's pure magnitude is awe-striking, and it invites us to unravel its enigmas that reach far beyond its gigantic size. However, what truly distinguishes Ganymede from the astronomical assembly is its unique claim to fame. It's the only moon known in our solar system to flaunt its very own magnetic field, a trait usually exclusive to the splendor of planets. Curious, isn't it? Now, let's dive into the annals and discovery of this mesmerizing celestial body and the two dominant space agencies working in unison to explore its astonishing missions. Ganymede wasn't unveiled to us through a state-of-the-art telescope, but by a man and the power of his inquisitive mind. The revolutionary year was 1610, and that man was the illustrious Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei. Armed with his rudimentary telescope, Galileo's keen vision and even keener intellect identified something truly remarkable. Jupiter, the behemoth gas giant, didn't exist in solitude. Circling it were four sizable moons, among which was Ganymede. This revelation was groundbreaking. It marked the first occasion where a celestial body was observed to be orbiting an entity other than Earth, shaking up the prevalent belief of those times that Earth was the universe's epicenter. It laid one of the foundational stones for the evolution of modern astronomy and heliocentrism. Ganymede, the biggest among Jupiter's moons, and indeed the most massive moon in our solar system, was part of this transformative discovery. Throughout the centuries that have passed since, it has ceaselessly caught our fascination and fueled our space exploration ambitions. Our journey from Galileo's basic telescope to a more advanced understanding and exploration of Ganymede has been nothing short of remarkable. Ganymede has been a prime target for a few space missions. The first to fly by were Pioneer 10 and 11 in the early 70s. Their fleeting visits gave us our first close-up views of Ganymede's surface and kick-started our fascination with this colossal moon. Then, in the late 70s, the Voyager missions took up the mantle. Voyagers 1 and 2 captured more detailed images and provided valuable data about Ganymede's composition and atmosphere. This was our first hint that Ganymede was not just another cold, dead moon, but it was the Galileo orbiter in the 90s that truly transformed our understanding of Ganymede. Galileo spent eight years studying Jupiter and its moons, with numerous flybys of Ganymede. During this time, Galileo made a stunning discovery. Ganymede has its own magnetic field. This was a game-changer. No other moon in our solar system has this feature. It pointed to a dynamic, active world beneath the icy surface. But one discovery has stirred up scientists even more. On June 7, 2021, Juno swiftly passed Jupiter's moon at 1,000 kilometers. Post the close encounter, the GRAM, or the Jovian Infrared Auroral Mapper Instrument captured images, revealing chemical fingerprints of the moon's surface. With unrivaled spatial resolution, over one kilometer per pixel, the data collected allowed scientists to identify organic materials like ammonium chloride, sodium bicarbonate, and potential aliphatic aldehydes. The presence of these salts and organic compounds could indicate the presence of hydrothermal activity deep underneath Ganymede's icy surface along with the interactions between its subsurface ocean and rocks deep within the planet. Each visit to Ganymede brings us a step closer to understanding this unique moon and the possibilities that may lie underneath its surface. Now it's time to explore what the European Space Agency and NASA have us to offer. Our journey of unraveling the mysteries of Ganymede is an ongoing process, and the next chapter promises to be nothing short of extraordinary. The European Space Agency is at the forefront with its groundbreaking Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer mission, commonly known as JUICE, while NASA is preparing to send its own spacecraft, the Europa Clipper, to the Jovian system. Both missions will help us understand the characteristics of Jupiter and its moons in greater detail. Launched in 2023, JUICE is set to revolutionize our understanding of the icy moons of Jupiter, with a particular emphasis on the largest and most enigmatic of them all, Ganymede. This ambitious project is poised to delve deep into Ganymede's secrets, unlocking the mysteries that have captivated scientists for decades. How will JUICE help us Ganymede and its inner mysteries? 
One of the primary objectives of the JUICE mission is to shed light on Ganymede's unique magnetic field. Scientists are eager to comprehend the intricacies of this magnetic shield, which plays a crucial role in shaping the moon's environment. Additionally, JUICE will explore Ganymede's internal ocean, a fascinating feature that has captivated the scientific community. The existence of an ocean beneath the icy surface raises questions about the potential habitability of this celestial body. But how will the US and Europe cooperate in that remote corner of the solar system? NASA's ambitious plans with the Europa Clipper spacecraft are scheduled for launch later this year, and if all goes according to plan, is poised to reach its celestial destination by April 2030. Talk about exciting developments in space exploration. While NASA's Europa Clipper probe concentrates primarily on the icy moon Europa, the collaboration between the two spacecraft opens avenues for mutual benefit. JUICE possesses capabilities that can complement the Clipper's measurements and vice versa, fostering a cooperative approach to exploring the mysteries of Jupiter's moons. As the Europa Clipper team focuses on investigating Europa's potential for life, JUICE takes on a broader scope, studying multiple targets within the Jupiter system, with a special emphasis on Ganymede. This concurrent presence of two missions in the Jupiter system presents a unique scientific opportunity. The Europa Clipper science team and JUICE science team have already embarked on collaborative efforts to maximize the scientific harvest of both missions. Organizing joint meetings approximately once per year and maintaining regular contact between these gatherings. The teams are actively engaged in sharing insights and coordinating their scientific endeavors. A dedicated steering group consisting of members from both teams has recently been formed to further enhance this collaboration that reaches even the farthest ends of the solar system. This joint exploration promises to unveil unprecedented insights into the magnetic field, internal ocean, and potential habitability of Ganymede, making the simultaneous presence of Europa Clipper and JUICE in the Jupiter system a powerful force for advancing our understanding of these distant celestial bodies. And here's a fun fact, there's never been two spacecraft hanging out at Jupiter at the same time, especially from two different space agencies. Ganymede, a moon of many firsts. It's a moon of mysteries, and a moon of international cooperation. The largest moon in our solar system, Ganymede has intrigued us since its discovery. Its unique magnetic field and the numerous spacecraft that have visited it, from Pioneer 10 to Galileo, have provided us with fascinating insights. The upcoming missions and continued studies promise to shed even more light on this celestial body's mysteries. The more we learn about Ganymede, the more we realize how much there is yet to discover in our vast universe. We hope you enjoyed this episode and want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Orbital Prime and click the like button along with the bell to be notified when we release new episodes.